Hey everybody, so today we're going to be turning this rough cut walnut slab from this to this. If you want to see how to make a beautiful coffee table like this, stick around. So I made this router flattening sled in a previous video. I will link that video down below if you want to check out how to make that. Uh, it comes in very useful in flattened slabs like this as well as if you have larger glued up panels that you can't fit through your planer and you need to flatten them, it works great with that too. So, But I'll link that below if you want to check it out. So I had to add this piece of MDF just because the, the router won't go deep enough to do this top side, so I just added this half inch just so I have a little bit of um, room to drop the bit down and cut it out. But, so it doesn't slide around on here, I'm gonna try and see if this works. I'm gonna use this hot glue and just put a few big globs just in a few spots and hold it down and hopefully it doesn't wanna slide since it's really... So I think after I took the bark off and flattened the table on both sides, the little branch part became weak. So I cut this groove right here in there. That way I figured I could add a piece of wood and glue it and put it in there just to make it more sturdy. I was afraid that after it was all said and done, it wouldn't take much force for someone to kind of press on that little piece or um, you know, sit something on it and it could flex and over time maybe break. So I wanted to just make it more sturdy. So I just cut this strip of walnut, put it in there, and used three screws and a lot of glue to attach it. I also drew this line right here just to cut on the bandsaw the closer to the contour of the actual slab so it was not as noticeable when you when you sat down at its level to see that it did have a brace under it. But I think uh, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the table just because I, I had a problem and I came up with a solution very fast that turned out to be pretty good and at the same time you don't know it's there. So let me know what you think. Armor Seal uh, Semi Gloss. Thank you, Mr. Matt Cremona, for the suggestion on the finish. We're gonna actually put the finish in this little cup first, just so that we're not having to go back and forth dipping into this. So let's get started. So it's the next day and the first coat of finish is dry. It actually dried faster than I thought it was going to. We're gonna go ahead and sand with uh, 320 grit sandpaper just to knock off the little roughness left over from the first coat of finish. And then tomorrow after it dries, we'll go ahead and put the third and final coat of finish. <music> And I'm 
down and it's it's dry and ready for another coat. This time I'm gonna sand it with a 1200 grit instead of the 320. I sanded it with the 320 on the other one because when you first put a coat of finish, uh, it raises the grain, so I just use 320, but net from now on I'm gonna sand with the uh, 1200. So I'm gonna sand everything with the, one, with the 1200, put a coat of finish, and then wait again until tomorrow, and probably put one more coat, and then we'll install the legs. <laughs> Also, if you haven't already, please think about subscribing. That way you don't miss out on future videos like this. But thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next time.